Imagine deciding not to eat for an entire day. At first, it feels like just skipping breakfast or delaying lunch. But beneath the surface, something remarkable is happening. Your organs are shifting gears, entering a mode they rarely experience in our food-abundant world. The first few hours of fasting are a test. Your body must decide how to prioritize its precious fuel reserves. The stomach, though empty, still works. Digestive juices are released out of habit, almost expecting food that never arrives. Meanwhile, hormones start adjusting, signaling to the brain that energy conservation is now the priority. It's almost like flipping a switch inside your body. By hour four, hunger hormones such as ghrelin spike, making you think you're starving even though your energy levels are still stable. Your body is used to routine, and breaking it feels like a crisis. But what seems like discomfort is actually the beginning of a fascinating adaptation. From here, each organ takes on a new role, as if every system in your body is part of a survival orchestra. And the conductor? Your metabolism, quietly orchestrating a symphony of changes. Around six to eight hours into fasting, your blood sugar levels begin to decline. For most people, this feels like the moment of crash, fatigue, irritability, maybe even headaches. But physiologically, it's your body switching off its immediate fuel supply. Glucose, the sugar in your blood, is running low. The pancreas responds by releasing less insulin, a hormone responsible for moving sugar into your cells. With insulin reduced, your body can no longer rely on a steady flow of carbohydrates for energy. Instead, it signals the liver to step in, releasing stored glycogen reserves, also known as glycogen. This is the backup battery phase of your metabolism. Your liver works overtime, breaking down glycogen into glucose to maintain balance in your bloodstream. It's a delicate dance. Too much glucose released, and your body wastes energy. Too little, and your brain complains loudly. This process is what makes you feel both tired and strangely alert at the same time. It's survival mode in its earliest stage, setting the foundation for what's about to come next. If you find this fascinating and want to keep learning how your body transforms during fasting, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss the science behind these incredible changes. By the 10th hour, your liver is working like a hidden hero. It not only regulates blood sugar by releasing glycogen, but also begins preparing for the next step, breaking down fat. This metabolic flexibility is crucial. Without it, humans would never have survived periods of food scarcity. Your liver is essentially a biochemical factory. While most people think of it as the organ that detoxifies alcohol or medication, its fasting role is even more impressive. It provides a steady trickle of energy that keeps your brain running at full speed even when no food enters your body. As glycogen stores diminish, the liver begins producing ketone bodies, small molecules made from fat. These ketones are an alternative energy source, and your brain loves them. In fact, some studies suggest that ketones can sharpen mental clarity, which explains why some people report heightened focus during fasting. This marks a turning point. Instead of fearing hunger, your body starts embracing fat burning as a natural strategy, and your liver is the mastermind behind the shift. Inside each cell, Tiny structures called mitochondria act like power plants. During fasting, they are forced to become more efficient, squeezing every drop of energy from what little fuel is left. This microscopic adaptation is part of why fasting has been studied for its potential longevity benefits. Cells begin to adjust their breathing, a process known as cellular respiration. Without a constant flood of glucose, they switch to burning fat-derived molecules, which creates less oxidative stress compared to shooter metabolism. This means your cells are essentially working cleaner, with fewer waste products. This is also the phase when autophagy, 
the self-cleaning mechanism of cells starts to stir. Damaged proteins and malfunctioning organelles are tagged and recycled. It's like spring cleaning at the microscopic level, preparing your cells to function more efficiently once normal eating resumes. Think of it this way. Fasting forces your body to stop consuming and start repairing. It's a moment of biological reset that modern diets rarely allow. By the 12th to 14th hour, insulin levels fall significantly. Low insulin is like opening the floodgates for fat metabolism. This hormone, usually spiked by frequent meals, is now suppressed, allowing fat cells to release stored energy into the bloodstream. This transition is why many researchers link fasting to improved insulin sensitivity. Your body becomes better at using insulin when you eventually eat again, reducing long-term risks of type 2 diabetes. It's not just about skipping a meal, it's about giving your hormones a reset. Interestingly, this is also when cravings can peak. Your body senses the metabolic shift and tries to convince you to give in. But if you push through, fat oxidation becomes your new normal and your energy supply stabilizes again. Insulin's drop marks a profound internal change. It signals that your body has officially left the fed state and entered the fasting state where survival biochemistry dominates. By the 15th hour, your stomach has long since emptied itself, yet it continues to produce acid and digestive enzymes on its regular schedule. This can sometimes lead to a hollow, growling sensation, the sound of your stomach contracting in anticipation of food. It's not dangerous, but it is your body's way of reminding you that it's designed to expect regular meals. The longer your stomach remains empty, the more it begins to rest. This period of inactivity can actually be beneficial, giving the gut lining time to repair itself. Chronic eating with no breaks, especially snacking late at night, often prevents this natural recovery process. Scientists suggest that fasting periods may reduce inflammation in the digestive tract. People with conditions like gastritis or irritable bowel syndrome sometimes notice improved symptoms during controlled fasting windows. While this doesn't mean fasting is a cure, it shows how much rest your gut appreciates. So even in silence, your stomach is doing important work. It's not just waiting. It's repairing, resetting, and preparing for the next real meal. Around the 17th hour, you may feel unusually focused or unusually irritable. This paradox comes from your brain adapting to ketones as an alternative fuel source. Ketones don't just supply energy, they also influence neurotransmitters, changing your mood and mental clarity. Some people describe this as a mental sharpness that feels almost like drinking coffee. In evolutionary terms, it makes sense. When humans were hungry, they needed heightened awareness to hunt or gather food effectively. Fasting triggers this ancient survival response. But there's a flip side. If your body isn't well adapted to fasting, you may experience irritability, anxiety, or brain fog instead. This depends on your unique metabolism, hydration, and sleep. It's not a one-size-fits-all experience. Ultimately, fasting puts your brain into a new rhythm. Whether that feels empowering or frustrating depends on how your nervous system handles the sudden shift in fuel. At this point, around the 18th to 20th hour, your body turns more aggressively to fat stores for energy. Triglycerides in fat cells are broken down into free fatty acids which travel through the bloodstream to fuel your muscles and organs. This is the true fat-burning stage of fasting. The liver processes some of these fatty acids into ketones, ensuring that your brain stays well supplied with energy. In fact, after nearly a day without food, ketones can provide up to half of your brain's energy needs. This is why fasting is sometimes studied in relation to neurological health, including conditions like epilepsy and Alzheimer's disease. Interestingly, fat breakdown also releases glycerol, a molecule that your liver can use to make new glucose. This ensures that red blood cells, which cannot run on fat, still have a steady sugar supply. It's a perfect example of how your body balances survival across every organ. This process is the reason fasting has attracted so much attention in weight loss discussions. But it's not just about losing fat. It's about unlocking an ancient energy system designed to protect you. Your heart is not left out of the fasting equation.
By the 20th hour, it begins to beat more efficiently. Lower insulin and reduced glucose levels can improve cardiovascular function by decreasing blood pressure and inflammation in blood vessels. Some studies suggest fasting enhances heart rate variability, a measure of how adaptable your heart is to stress. A higher variability means your body is more resilient, able to handle physical or emotional challenges with less strain. That said, fasting also temporarily reduces electrolyte levels, which can affect heart rhythm in sensitive individuals. This is why hydration and sometimes mineral supplementation is crucial during longer fasts. Without it, dizziness or palpitations may occur. Overall, the heart adapts gracefully, finding new rhythms that balance efficiency and endurance. It's a reminder that even in a fasting state, your body prioritizes keeping blood pumping strong and steady. By the 22nd hour, one of fasting's most fascinating processes takes center stage, autophagy. This is the body's internal recycling system, where damaged proteins, broken cell parts, and waste are dismantled and reused. Think of it as your body's janitorial staff, finally given the chance to do a deep clean. Under constant feeding conditions, autophagy is minimal, because cells are too busy processing nutrients. But fasting flips the switch, giving cells the chance to repair themselves from the inside out. Autophagy is linked to improved immunity, reduced risk of certain diseases, and even longevity. Animal studies show that periods of fasting may extend lifespan by keeping cells younger and more efficient. Humans aren't lab mice, but the evidence is compelling. This cleanup is one of the main reasons fasting is seen as more than just skipping meals. It's a full biological reset. And at this point, your body is almost ready to complete its first 24-hour cycle. At the 23rd hour, the microbiome, the trillions of bacteria living in your intestines, begins to shift. Without constant feeding, certain bacteria decrease while others that thrive on fasting conditions become more active. This microbial balance has major consequences for digestion, immunity, and even mood. Research shows that fasting may increase microbial diversity, something strongly linked to overall health. A richer microbiome means better resilience against harmful bacteria, improved nutrient absorption, and even reduced inflammation throughout the body. Your intestines also take advantage of the fasting break to strengthen their lining. This barrier prevents toxins from leaking into the bloodstream, a phenomenon known as leaky gut. By allowing the gut wall to recover, fasting helps maintain a healthier immune system. So, even though your stomach and intestines are empty, they are far from idle. They are busy fine-tuning a balance that influences your entire body. One of the least expected effects of fasting is the increase in human growth hormone, HGH. After about 24 hours without food, HGH levels can spike dramatically, sometimes five-fold compared to normal levels. Growth hormone is not just about building muscle. It plays a critical role in repairing tissues, mobilizing fat for energy, and supporting cellular recovery. This makes it a key part of why fasting is sometimes called a healing state. Interestingly, this rise in HGH doesn't require exercise or sleep. It is purely a response to fasting stress. It's as if your body is trying to protect lean mass while encouraging fat burning. For many researchers, this hormonal adaptation is one of the clearest examples of how fasting supports resilience and long-term health. It's a natural boost without pills or supplements. A common fear about fasting is that you'll lose muscle mass. After all, if you're not eating, won't your body break down protein for fuel? The reality is more nuanced. In the first 24 hours, muscle loss is minimal. Your body is intelligent. It prioritizes fat and glycogen breakdown before touching protein. Only when fasting is extended far beyond a day does the risk of significant muscle breakdown increase. For short-term fasting, growth hormone actually helps protect muscles. 
What you may notice, however, is a slight drop in physical strength or endurance during the fast. This isn't due to muscle loss, but to reduced glycogen in your muscles, which limits quick energy for intense activity. So while muscles are affected, they are not sacrificed during a 24-hour fast. In fact, many athletes use intermittent fasting to maintain lean muscle while reducing fat. Reaching the 24-hour mark is both a challenge and an achievement. By now, your body has adapted fully to fat metabolism, ketone production, and cellular cleanup. It's functioning in a way that feels foreign to many of us in a constantly fed world. However, fasting is not for everyone. Those with certain medical conditions, such as diabetes or heart disease, should never attempt it without supervision. For others, it can be an eye-opening reset, but it's important to listen to your body's signals. This edge point between health benefits and potential risks is where science urges caution. A single 24-hour fast can be beneficial, but making it a habit requires careful planning and balance. Curious what happens when you push your body with other habits? You might enjoy what happens if you drink five cups of coffee every day for 30 days, according to science. It's an eye-opener about how daily routines shape your health. So what does science ultimately say about a 24-hour fast? The evidence shows it is generally safe for most healthy adults, and it activates remarkable survival pathways, fat burning, autophagy, hormonal shifts, and brain adaptation. It's less about deprivation and more about rediscovering how flexible the human body truly is. At the same time, fasting is not a magic cure. It should not replace a balanced diet, good sleep, or regular exercise. Think of it as a tool, a way to occasionally reset your metabolism and give your organs the chance to repair and rejuvenate. The journey of a single day without food reveals just how adaptable and intelligent your body is. What feels like hunger on the surface is in truth a complex and fascinating transformation beneath the skin. And whether you choose to fast again or not, you now understand the incredible science behind what happens inside you. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can join us for more science-backed explorations into how everyday choices shape your health.